This video is created to make the students understand the requirements of the first lab experiment under the operating systems lab. Let's have a look at the requirements of the first experiment. According to this experiment, the students are expected to develop a C program which creates a parent process and then it generates a child process and uses a pipe to interact between the parent and the child. So the procedure is listed as uh, create the parent process first and uh, then, then create the child process with the help of a unique uh, uh, system call called the fork and uh, then suspend the parent process. This is needed because it's only when the parent is suspended the child gets a chance to execute and uh, lastly the child process gets invoked and it receives the message sent by the parent. Now having understood the requirements, let's try to look at this in an, in, a, in, a, in a other way. Uh, first of all, this, uh, this program requires the usage of two uh, system calls. One is in the name of port and the other in the name of pipe. The usage of pipe is uh, represented through this diagram. So what you could see here is that when the program begins to run, we call it as a parent process and the parent process contains a system call of the fork which is going to create the child process. So as soon as the fork command is executed, we are going to get a child process created by the operating system and uh, the child process is actually going to be a replication of the parent process. In other words, the content of the child process will be same as the parent process. And second command that will be used is is, in the, is the pipe. Uh, the, the usage of pipe uh, can be uh, understood uh, uh, using this uh, example. So the parent is connected with the child. There is a path needed between the parent and the child. A pipe will be acting as an interface. So once the, we have created a pipe and uh, connected that uh, one end of the pipe is connected to the parent and the other end is connected to the child. This can be used for send and receive messages between the two processes. Okay, now a uh, little more detail about the, the two very important uh, Unix commands. Uh, the, first co the first one is actually a, a system call in Unix. Uh, at, as it is uh, mentioned here, when it is executed, its operation is to create a process which is uh, a copy of itself and uh, once we are creating a child process as a copy of the parent there is a problem that we need to be able to differentiate the child and the parent because they both have exactly the same content we need a mechanism to differentiate which process is parent and which process is child and the fork itself provides a solution for the that problem uh, whenever the four command is executed, it will return a process ID to both process. And uh, as far as the parent process, the process ID returned to parent process is the child process ID. On the other hand, the child process simply gets zero as process ID. So uh, in this way, we, we, we will be able to know whether we are dealing with the parent process or a child process. So if the PID or the process ID is equal to 0, it is treated as a child, whereas if the value is non-zero, then it must be a parent. And uh, another important point related to fork uh, that, uh, that, is, uh, that we need to understand is that, so even though we call it as a child process, they are still independent processes, each are going to run on their own, they are going to have their own process IDs memory allocations everything will be uh, will be uh, yeah, yeah, separate separated for them there is only one uh, that connects them connect the two the the if the determination of the parent process will automatically kill the child process in other words the child cannot have a existence of its own it depends on the execution of the parent and uh, the second uh, system call is uh, pipe so as it was uh, explained previously the pipe is needed for a a communication link between the parent and the child. Now let's have a look at the 
actual uh, coding of this uh, program. This is sample coding, which is implementing uh, the the lab requirement. So the program begins with the creation of the pipe. So the, there is a call system call made to the pipe. And uh, if it succeeds, it will return a value which is not minus one. So it will go to the else part. But in case if there is some error happened during the execution, it will result in a return value of minus one. So that will um, that that means that the pro the pipe command has not succeeded. So we cannot proceed with the execution. So we will just return a uh, return one, and the program will be terminated. Now, in case if the pipe has not encountered any such uh, problem, then the program will uh, move on to the else part. In the else part, once the pipe is created, the next task is creation of the child process. And this is the statement that uh, generates the child process. So, we make a call to the for command and the return value of the for command is captured into the variable called the PID. And, uh, and the condition will be evaluated like this. After the for command, if PID is true, which means it is a parent process. If PID is false, it must be a child process. As you know, in C, uh, 0 is uh, treated as false. Any other value is treated as true. So it's only the child process that is going to have its PID as 0. And a parent process will certainly have some other value other than 0. Now, let us uh, assume that we are entering into the parent process. So the con the uh, the execution will be taking place in this uh, the uh, true part of the if. Uh, so during the execution, the parent process asks the user to type a value. So the value is taken as uh, uh, as input from the user. The user has to type any string, and that uh, gets uh, stored into the, the into the uh, array called outbuff, and then it is written into the pipe. So the write command is used to write the message into the pipe. Now the parent has completed its task. It has created a child and it has written a message into the pipe. So what is needed now is for the child to read the message. But that will only happen if the parent is suspended. To make that happen, we invoke the command called sleep command. So the sleep command which is executed in the parent process will halt the execution of the parent process. This will enable the, the enable the child to be invoked and so that it can also read the message of the parent. So once the sleep command is executed, the child process uh, execution commences and when the child process executes, this condition will be once again evaluated but by then for the child this will be zero. As a result, the program progresses into the else part. So in the else part, after displaying the uh, message that it is inside the child process, it begins to read the message of the parent. And once the message is successfully read into in buff, it's finally shown to the user and that is the end of the program. So the return zero will terminate the program and both process will be uh, terminated. So the, the, the parent process as well as the child process will be terminated. Thank you.